So you just got yourself a Hero 12, and you're probably wondering, what other accessories should I get with this? And because we have the Hero 12, I've come up with the top 12 must-have accessories for when you're, you know, out GoProing. Yeah, we're gonna stick with that. Mr. Black. By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black. I'd love to share with you cool gear that comes my way and also tell you where you can get that gear. And if you are new here, don't be a stranger and I'll put links to everything down in the description. Plus a nice little coupon code to save you some money and a surprise link. And the first thing on the list is in fact, I think probably one of the coolest things about having the Hero 12 and that is the Max Lens Mod 2.0. And that lens is basically like magic. It does a great job stabilizing the footage, giving a very wide field of view without getting any kind of weird distortion or anything like that. So you can get some crazy shots like this. And especially if you do put linear lock on, it will actually do that crazy thing where it stays still, but everything moves around it. Now you might be wondering, will the Max Lens 1.0 work with this? And the answer is yes, it does, but it's not as good. And I'll make a whole video on why that is. But in my opinion, I think that if you're gonna get the 12, you should get this Max Lens mod because it just makes it that much better. And let's just call this 1A because this is also an external lens that you can put on. And this is a macro one. So you can get really close up shots you could never get with just the GoPro lens. And also you have the free well filters that look really good. If you're doing some action shots with your action camera, you can put some filters on like the ND32 that you see right here. And just side by side, you can see that it just makes it feel like there's so much more motion going on, especially when you pause it and look side by side here. Um, they also have the ND1 1000 and I've used this to get shots like that where it's like a time lapse during the day like and it just looks really cool. And also K and F do have filters as well. These are variables. So you can go from a polarizer to your ND8, 16, 32 or 64 and this is what it looks like with a 64 on there. So you can turn the variable to the polarizer. That's what that looks like. Yeah, so those ND filters do add a lot. All right, next up on this list is the three-way arm from Telesyn. It folds down really compact so you can have a short little stand like that. You also have little legs for a tripod so you can set this down. And because it's plastic, it's very lightweight. And I love that you can just like, you know, contort this any way that you want. You can get low to the ground shots. You can be running with this thing. But because you can kind of hold it out like this, you don't get like the selfie pull in it when you want to just show yourself. So you can actually just be walking and it looks like you have someone filming you. So I really like that a lot. But also what makes this one different is it has a little ball head on the top. So you can actually adjust this a little bit more. Out of all the arms that I've used, this is kind of my favorite one right here. All right, so number three, we're talking about the SD card that you should be using. This is the one that I highly recommend up to 128 gigabytes. To me, I've been using these and I've never had any issues. I think if you have more than 128 gigs that just means that you have more to lose 64 gigs is also okay but then you know if you want to record 65 gigs then you're kind of out of luck so I think that 128 gigs is kind of like the sweet spot and if you're like on a holiday or a trip somewhere and you run out of space then you can just have multiple 128 gig SD cards and that's just great because if you lose one or something happens to it you don't lose everything and number four is these Telesyn clamps now there's a few different assortment of clamps that they have here, but one of the cool things about the Hero 12 having that quarter thread at the bottom, it's just so easy to spin that on and then you can just clamp that onto a pole or a branch or something that's kind of small, it fits something like that. It also does come with an attachment to get like something even smaller, like a kind of like more of like a cable. So that's really nice, but then I like this option here. So if you have something that's a little bit more awkward, you have these feet that can kind of angle in and sit on that. and. These things are strong. I've used them on shots that if they failed, I'd lose the GoPro. So I trust these things are really strong and I love the magic arms that come with them. So you can kind of adjust even more so. And uh, yeah, definitely love the clamp system at Telesyn. And Telesyn, we do have a discount code. So check that out down in the description. And if you wanna see the prices for all of these things, make sure you look down in the description. I would show you the prices now, but the prices change all the time and just easier for you to click on them. And number five is the GoPro necklace. Now I featured this on last year's, but they've made an update to their design and these things are fantastic. I use these all the time for like POV shots. If I'm doing a behind the scenes of like shooting video. I just put this on, I put my GoPro on there and it just makes it so easy to do. It's so quick, you just take them off like that. I've seen people even use this in other ways, like a makeshift tripod or even like if they wanted to go vlogging with it like that. So it is highly versatile, but for me, yeah, just 
having it around the neck and just getting that quick POV shot, uh, just it's, it's so helpful, it's so handy, and I just, I like that a lot. And the update from last year's design is it's a little bit more lightweight, and also it has a really nice and comfortable like rubber feel, so you can wear this around your neck and you won't feel it, like it's not gonna like, be uncomfortable, it's gonna feel great. All right, for number six, I'm actually gonna rope in three different products together. This Grav Grip system from Grav Grip, and if you don't know what this is, it's basically, it uses gravity, so when you go up or down, you'll notice that the GoPro will stay level with it. So there's that, plus the Max Lens Mod makes it really, really smooth. And check out this, this is the three meter pole from Telesyn. It's nice because it has that action mount on the top. That's better because then it won't spin if it gets too heavy. So you put this all together, use a three meter pole, and three meters, like that's like 10 feet. It's like, you can get some really creative shots. It looks like jib shots. It's perfect if you need to get up really high and then go really low and just wanna get more cinematic with your videos. So it's a great way to just get more creative with your GoPro. So that's the Max Lens Mod Plus, the Grab Grip System, and the three meter pole. Yeah, so check those out. Those are really cool. And next, uh, there's two kind of competing products here and that's the GoPro Volta and this Telesyn Powerbank Selfie Stick. And they both do different things here, but for the main part, uh, they have that power bank that's gonna give you a lot longer battery. And I've used this many times and it's gotten me out of a jam, like if the batteries are going flat and I don't have anything to charge them up. So with the Volta, you have a little tripod here and you can adjust your GoPro on top and spin it around. It also has these little legs so that you can attach it to action mount accessories. So if you wanna have this charging and be on an action mount, that will work. It also gives you a remote control, so you can control this from just like hand holding it or from like afar. So you can connect it through Bluetooth and then start and stop recording, change modes, all that good stuff. But with the Telesyn one, one thing that I love about it is it just does have a long selfie pole. So it could still be charging when it's plugged in and fully extended. And I think that's really, really handy. They're both really good accessories and one might just benefit you more than the other. So if you're looking to extend that battery life, yeah, you'll be happy with one of these depending on what you need it for. Number eight. Uh. I've tried like all the different lights that are out there and I still come back to GoPro's little tiny light right here. It's nice and bright and gets really bright and has SOS mode. So if you are out and it's dark out, it just does a great job lighting you up. If you notice, there's no spot to put that. I mean, that would have been so cool if they had like a magnetic thing there, but whatever. If you do need a quick cold shoe, Ulanzi has a great little battery door that has a cold shoe on it, as well as a quarter thread so you can do other accessories. So you pop that thing on there and also does give you access to the USB-C right there, but that way you could put your GoPro light on it and then there you go, it just will sit there. But maybe you wanted like a crazy amount of light. I actually recommend this one right here. This is from Zion and this is a 40 watt light. This is my go-to light when I like, I just need a lot of light. It just will brighten up the whole room. If you're going somewhere where it's really dark and you just need a lot of light, this thing is just perfect for that. I get this question a lot. People are like, what's the best way to attach it to like a chain link fence? Like if you're recording like your kid's Little Leagues game, uh, this fence mount is great for that. It's very rubbery and you can just attach it around the fence. I like how they have this section right here so you can actually make this thing go up or down, which might save you a lot of hassle in case it's like in the wrong spot where like if there's like a chain link in the way, this will actually save you so you can adjust that and you can go left to right as well. So that gives you a lot of options to make sure you get it in the right spot. And actually, just to add on to that, we'll call this uh, number 9.2, but uh, this was this camcooler.com. Uh, someone was just inventing a little fan for your GoPro. So if you were putting this like on a fence and you were doing like a game and it's hot out and you don't want your GoPro to overheat, this actually helps out a lot. I did a lot of testing on it and it really does the trick. So that's a, a really cool invention. Just look at that. It's just so, it's so homemade, but uh, yeah, you check it out, camcooler.com. And number 10, we have this flexible clamp mount and uh, this thing's really cool. If you didn't want to wear the necklace, this also works as a necklace too. You just put it around your neck and you can get that POV shot just like that. But also you can wrap it around poles, you can wrap it around trees, you can wrap it around your arm, you can coil it up, make a little tripod, you can hold it out and use it like to vlog with. So there's a lot of good uses for it. There's also a quarter thread on the bottom if you want to attach it 
to like another mount or something like that. And definitely makes it a lot easier if like you have like a pole that's way too big for one of those clamps, this thing will just do the trick. So and it's also really small, so it fits in your bag, it doesn't take up a lot of space and it's just highly versatile. So I like this a lot. This one also comes in from Telesyn, so you can get a uh, good discount. Now with number 11, uh, there's a lot of battery cases out there. This Telesyn one right here is really sleek. It's really nicely designed and you can put two batteries in it but it does have one that does give you fast charging, really fast, it charges it up really quickly. So this does have a built-in battery so that you can be charging your batteries on the go as well. So it's really slim and sleek too, like some of the other ones that I featured on the channel are kind of more boxy, so depending on how you want it to be in your bag, this takes up kind of less space in that regard. And I like that there is a USB-C for charging, but also USB-A so that you can charge other devices like using it as a power bank because you know that's kind of what it is. So it's really nice and really sleek and just a great way to keep your batteries charged up on the go. All right, so before we get to the final one, there are a couple of honorable mentions and these honorable mentions I actually don't have, but they look really cool. The first one is the Ulanzi GoPro Feet. So if you do have the Osmo action cameras where you have that magnetic mount, this gives you kind of all three. So you can use those magnetic action mounts or you can use the GoPro feed or use a quarter thread. And a lot of people do like that like magnetic mount that DJI has so you can get some of those accessories and then use them with your GoPro. So I think that's pretty cool. The other honorable mention on here is the Action Box Cine. Basically, it's a box with a mat on it so that you can block out the sun, you can get a little bit more creative with your shots with it, and also it has magnetic filters. So that looks really cool, and uh, I can't wait to get my hands on it and try it out for myself. All right, so lastly, I mean, trust me, there's a lot of really cool accessories out there. There's snap mount, there's more selfie sticks, the wind slayer, but I'm actually gonna surprise you and go with the GoPro media mod. Now, I've been highly critical of the media mod in the past, but actually the built-in microphone sounds a lot better on the Hero 12 than it did on the Hero 11 or the Hero 10 or the Hero 9. But I guess, how does it sound? I'm gonna keep talking. If you guys have any questions about any questions about the Hero 12, I'm trying to do, do my best to answer all of them, so make sure you drop a comment. And also, if you do get that GoPro Lite, it works really nicely with it because they have cold shoe mounts on it, and then you can even do external microphones and stuff like that. Plus, there is a new feature about the media mod on the Hero 12, so stay tuned to the channel for that, and also, much more cool GoPro accessories and cool tips and tricks. So if you do have that Hero 12, well, this channel is probably where you wanna be. So thanks so much for watching and all the love and support. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mr. Black. Can we call you Uncle Black?